Running. I've never really seen the attraction. Tired, that was hard. If I'm running, it's inevitably because I'm chasing a ball, a train, or a bus. I do play football though, but running for running's sake, never been into it. So for me, this week's challenge will be a proper challenge. Run 10 kilometers every day for the next seven days. I do love the simplicity of running. All you need is a pair of shoes, or in my case, a pair of shoes, some calf compression sleeves, lashings of deep heat, and an enormous amount of willpower. Running on the pavement hurts my joints. On the rare occasion when I do run, I prefer to use my wife's treadmill. It's a lot more forgiving on my creaking body. A slight problem I have this week is that I'm away in Switzerland for a few days directing a film. This means that the first two 10K runs will be outside. Running shoes. first run was always going to be the easiest. I'm feeling at my freshest and I'm excited about finally starting this challenge. It's cold. Feeling it tonight. I headed down to Lake Geneva tonight and found a long straight path which ran alongside the water. It's a shame it was dark and cloudy as it looked like a really beautiful spot. I'm about to head off to the studio now. Unfortunately, due to client confidentiality, I'm not allowed to say who the client is or what the film is for, so that's just gonna have to remain shrouded in mystery. Day two. I ran a similar route to last night's 10k, running alongside Lake Geneva. I'm pacing myself for the week and trying not to go too hard, as I know I have a long way to go in this challenge. Tired. The hardest part of tonight's run was the last mile, which was all uphill on the way back to the hotel. 10k. I was wondering how I was going to feel after the first two 10k's, especially doing them outdoors. I'm not used to doing a lot of outdoor running, but not feeling too bad. Setting a good pace, not too fast, not too slow. I had to carry a backpack, so I'm carrying the camera and the GoPro, so carrying the extra weight doesn't make things easy. But I'm pleased so far, two down, five to go. I've got about an hour and a half before I need to start making my way back to the airport, so I thought I'd take the opportunity this morning to go to Lausanne Cathedral. Unfortunately, it's about a mile and a half uphill. My muscles are aching, but maybe a brisk walk is exactly what I need. It is a really beautiful view. On a good day, you can see all the way over to France across Lake Geneva, but sadly today, too overcast. We've got about 20 minutes now until we gotta to get to the train station, so gotta go. The last thing I wanna do when I get back to Edinburgh is go for a run. I'm hurting today, but I know if I can just get through tonight's run, then I'm almost at the halfway point. So tonight's run feels pivotal to me completing this challenge. Back in Edinburgh now, about to start my third 10K. Just want to get through this one. Got the small matter of this dude wanting to use the treadmill. That worked quite well. Three K down. Feeling okay. Feeling nicely warmed up now.
That was hard. It's so hot. It's so hot in there. 10k number three done. Possibly the hardest of the lot. So hot in there. Don't think I've ever sweated so much in my life. This has just arrived. Compression tights. Gonna help. Last night's run was really tough, but I know that if I complete another 10K tonight, then I've sailed past the halfway point of this challenge. And right now that's a huge psychological factor that I'm focusing on. I'm running at night because this is the most convenient time for me to do so. However, this does mean that my two little boys are fast asleep and the last thing I wanna do is wake them up. So it means I have to keep the door to the treadmill room shut. This just means that it becomes an absolute sweat box in that room after the halfway point. I think the compression tights really helped with the run tonight. I would say they made me run faster, but it certainly felt a lot more comfortable. Pleased to have got past the halfway point with this challenge, you know, the end is in sight. I really think I can do this now. I've still got a long way to go on this challenge and my biggest fear is that I'm going to get injured and I won't be able to complete it. So I'm trying to be as kind to my body as I possibly can be. During the day I've taken to wearing tubi grips on both of my thighs and calf compression sleeves on the lower part of my legs. I do look like a massive twat but it is working. Looking good. The treadmill is making a big difference to my runs. Just over 48 hours ago I was walking around Lausanne with a lot of pain in my legs but it feels like I've got a new lease of life now. It's feeling really good tonight. Felt like I could run for longer, felt like I could run faster. But I know I've got 20k to go, so I'm trying to preserve those legs, preserve those muscles. But yeah, feeling really good right now. It's Saturday morning now and a little over 12 hours since my last run. I'm on the home straight now and just want to keep the momentum going. 9k. I have the luxury of being able to keep the door to the treadmill room open this morning, but I'm looking forward to completing this challenge by doing my final run tomorrow outside. 10k done. One more to go. Sunday morning, just one more run that separates me from completing this challenge. Let's do this. This week I've run the furthest I've ever run in my life. I've probably never sweated more in one week either. For seasoned runners, running 70 kilometers in a week is nothing to write home about. But for someone who doesn't do a lot of running, this was a big challenge. After the second outdoor run, I was hurting. My legs were so stiff that to be honest, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to complete this challenge. I've only completed three weekly challenges now, but there seems to be a trend. The first few days of the challenge are the hardest. By the middle of the week, you get into a groove. By the end of the week, you've adapted and it's become second nature. Plus you do get an almighty sense of accomplishment when you get to the end of the seventh day. Dare I say it, I love doing this challenge. I'm a converted runner now. But listening to music is important or otherwise it becomes very dull. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please like, comment and share. And join me again next time for my next weekly challenge.